हाउसबिल्लिनशैतवानजीम बसमीम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्टोरी फ्राम द हॉली कुरान मूसा एंड द ईवल फिर मूसा इस्लाम वॉज लिविंग अ वेरी हैप्पी लाइफ विद हिज़ फैमिली वन डे ही डिसाइडेड टू रिटर्न टू अजिप्ट ही लेफ्ट द विलेज अलॉन्ग विद हिज़ फैमिली During the course of their journey they arrived at Mount Tur it was a cold night Musa alaihi salam noticed a fire in the distance as Musa alaihi salam approached the fire he heard a voice o musa the voice said i am allah your lord i am going to make you my prophet you must go to the people of egypt and tell them that there is only one god allah who created them so they must be grateful and pray only to allah and strive to do good take your brother harun alaihi salam with you and go to the firaun and give him my message musa alaihi salam and harun alaihi salam went to egypt and told firaun Allah who is the lord of the worlds has sent me to you I am Allah's messenger and I bring the truth to you you should set free the children of Israel when Firaun heard this he became angry and shouted you liar no one except I the great Firaun of Egypt is the lord of the world I am the most powerful king on earth if you disobey me I will throw you in prison Musa alaihi salam was not frightened by Firaun's anger he told Firaun with the help of Allah I shall show you that Allah is more powerful than you Musa alaihi salam then took his staff and threw it on the ground the staff turned into a long thick snake when the firaun saw this he said you are clearly a magician i will call all the magicians in my land and then we will see who is a better magician they or you all the magicians gathered in the firaun's palace they had many magical sticks with them and they turned them into snakes but then musa alaihi salam threw his staff on the ground and once again it turned into a snake musa alaihi salam snake swallowed up all the snakes the magicians were impressed they said we believe in allah who has sent musa alaihi salam and his prophet allah is much more powerful than all of us when the Cruelties of Firaun became unbearable. Allah instructed Prophet Musa, alayhi salam, to leave Egypt along with his family and followers. Musa, alayhi salam, led his people towards the Red Sea. By then, Firaun was informed that they had left Egypt, so he took a huge army to crush them. When they reached the Red Sea, Allah guided Musa, alayhi salam, split the sea with your staff. Musa did as he was commanded a fiery wind blew and in a flash the sea parted Musa alaihi salam led his people across as the people looked back they saw Firaun and his army approaching in great fear and panic they begged Musa alaihi salam to close the sea however Allah commanded Musa alaihi salam not to close the sea with his staff again for allah's judgment was already in action firaun and his army had seen the parting of the sea he turned to his men and said look the sea has opened at my command so that i may follow those rebels and arrest them they rushed across the parted waters and when they were midway Allah commanded the sea to return to its previous state the proud firaun and his army drowned immediately firaun's mummy is placed in cairo's famous museum where it is serving as a great memorial 
for all local and foreign visitors. The salty crust found over Pharaoh's dead body has been examined recently. It has established the historical fact that the cruel Pharaoh was King Ramses II and that his death was caused by drowning in salty water of the Red Sea. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.